Okay, this is 5.07 mastery check on solving two-step equations. You need to remember that when it asks us to solve, it's asking us to find the number that we can put in place of x that makes this statement true. And when you're solving equations, you want to think about getting x, or the variable, by itself on one side of the equal sign. So you need to get rid of the plus 7 and you need to get rid of the times 4. The way we get rid of those things has to happen in a certain order. And remember the way we talked about um, remembering the order was the date night story. So in the date night story, um, you're going to, your you are always going to be the variable. So this you're going to label as me. Your date is the one that's closest to you in the car. So this would be your date. And then your wingman, who's also going along on the date, who's your friend, is going to be this one that's still on the same side of the equal sign as you. They're in the car with you. They're not the 23, but they're not right next to you either. So this is your wingman. Okay, and I'm going to now rewrite this equation underneath um, so that I can show my work of how I'm going to solve it. Okay. So when you're done with your date and you're dropping people off, you're going to drop off your wingman um, so that you have just a little bit more time with your date. So I need to drop off my wingman, and my wingman is a positive 7. To get rid of a positive 7, I need to subtract 7. And don't forget, you have to do whatever you do to one side of the equation to the other as well to keep those sides balanced. So now I've gotten rid of my wingman, and I just have me and the date left in the car. And over here I have 23 minus 7, which will give me 16. Now right now my date is the 4, and it's being multiplied by me. So I need to undo that multiplication with division. I'm going to divide by 4 to drop off my date, and I have to do the same thing over here. So now it's just me left, and I am equal to 4. So that would be my answer. To check it, I need to substitute 4 back in for x in my original equation. So I'm going to write 4 times 4 instead of 4 times x plus 7 is equal to 23 and see if that's true. Order of operation says multiply before you add. 16 plus 7 and it is true that 16 plus 7 equals 23. So that's how I show my complete check. Okay, now looking over here at this one, um, I've got another situation where I have me right there, my date, and my wingman. So I need to drop off my wingman first. My wingman is a, is a plus 2. To undo that, I do the inverse of addition. So I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides. Divide by the problem. Um, I got rid of my wingman, now it's just me and the date in the car. And I have 37 minus 2 over here is 35. Okay, so I have now 35 equals 7 times x. So 7 is what I need to get rid of now, and it's being multiplied by x. To undo that, I need to divide by 7, because that's the inverse of multiplication. I do that to both sides. That gets rid of my date, it's just me left. And I have 35 divided by 7 over here which is equal to 5. To check it, I'm going to plug 5 back in for x. So I have 37 equals 7 times 5, instead of 7 times x, plus 2. So um, order of operation says multiply first. That gives me 35 plus 2, and that is equal to 37. So I did, in fact, get... 37 equals 37. All right, let's go to number three. So on number three, um, here's me, here's my date, and here's my wingman. I need to get rid of my wingman first. Now be careful, because a lot of people would say, oh, it's subtraction, so I need to do the inverse. I need to add 59 to both sides. Not true. This is a positive 59. The negative belongs to my date, the 6. This is a positive 59. To get rid of the positive 59, I subtract 59 from both sides. So 
So over here, all I have left is me and my date, and notice that negative has to come down with the date. It's a negative six is your date, not positive six. Okay, and then over here, I have 41 minus 59. That's gonna be a negative answer because um, I'm subtracting more than I have. Um, and the way I would figure that out to see how much more am I subtracting than I have is I would take 59 minus 41. That gives me eight, one. So 18 is what uh, I have negative number. I need to undo this date now. It's negative six times X. So I need to um, undo that multiplication by dividing by negative six. So I divide both sides by negative six. Now it's just me left. And I have a negative divided by a negative is a positive three. So X is equal to three. I'm gonna check that by substituting three back in for X in my original equation. So I'll try 41 equals 59 minus six times three. Order of operation says do this part first. So I'm taking 59 minus 18 and that gives me 41. So 41 is equal to 41 and my answer is correct. All right, let's look at the last one, number four. So here, I've got a little bit different arrangement. Here's you. Your date is still the one closest to you. So your date is the four. Your wingman is the eight. It's the one in the car, but not right next to you. So we're still gonna get rid of the wingman first. Right now the wingman is plus eight. To um, undo that, I need to subtract eight from both sides. There's my side one. So I've gotten rid of my wingman and I just have me and my date left. Over here I have 10 minus eight is two. Now, this operation, remember, means division. So four, or x is being divided by four. So to undo that, I need to multiply by four. That will get rid of my date. I need to multiply by four over here. So I get x is equal to eight. I check that by plugging eight back in for x. So I would put eight over four plus eight is equal to 10. Remember this equals division. So eight over four is eight divided by four, which is two plus eight is equal to 10 and two plus eight is equal to 10. So 10 is equal to 10 and I did my work correctly.